friends in my last video i discussed regarding the private cloud before that i've discussed regarding the public cloud so in this video i'll be discussing regarding the hybrid cloud so stay tuned to understand what is a hybrid cloud and how it is formed this is ranjuraj and you're streaming on the steady piece so let's begin so first of all uh, hybrid as a name suggests like the other private and the public clouds uh, the definition is very simple uh, the term hybrid comes from both the private as well as the public cloud so these two clouds uh, when they can't meet up their uh, requirements for an organization these two clouds are put up and then uh, they are integrated into a new cloud called as the hybrid cloud now uh, where this hybrid clouds are used now this hybrid clouds are mostly used for organizations like in most of the organizations they use a blend of both the uh, the private as well as the public cloud now uh, why do uh, use both because it will increase the cost itself uh, since for private itself it's very costly and why to integrate it with both now the main reason lies uh, here is that Uh, see some organizations would have some critical as well as non critical uh, task or activities to be done or some uh, kind of uh, like resources to be put at some place so whenever an organization uh, discovers that some of its activities are uh, non critical then it will move that particular activities and task to the public cloud and where these mis- mission critical activities or like uh, priority activities are involved those are uh, then moved to the private cloud now uh, then after some processing uh, now this is the, like they do the migration itself now if the private uh, data becomes like unusable or it's like uh, it's not being kept into private then they will move on to the uh, public cloud and that's so simple so uh, that's why reasons uh, behind why organizations use both the private as well as the public cloud and so they integrate it to a hybrid cloud now let's understand with the help of this example uh, now this is the uh, hybrid cloud setup and so they uh, organizations internally use uh, the private cloud they have an internally hosted private cloud and they keep the public cloud as an external service and whenever any of the uh, mission critical activities occur they first uh, migrate or do the activities into the private cloud and then any uh, non critical non missionary activities are done uh, at the private cloud premises so uh, these are some nodes or some uh, like can be say some uh, edges uh, which access these two services over the cloud which are hosted at some place now these two uh, rely on the same premises for the organizations Uh, so it's not like uh, any new thing just they deploy both the private and public cloud on the organization itself which is uh, being used by themselves only and so let's moving on to the simple definition so make sure of both the public as well as the private clouds for non critical activities we do most of the or are done at the public cloud and critical activities are done at the private cloud itself now uh, these two like clouds the pri- private and the public clouds are mainly used in organizations where uh, there is a term called as the cloud bursting so uh, whenever a cloud bursting occurs that means you have to identify that it is a private mixture of private as well as public cloud so that means hybrid cloud so whenever an organization stresses upon uh, the cloud bursting they mainly use the hybrid clouds now uh, since private and public has both got its advantages as well as disadvantages and so hybrid cloud is no exception it has also got its own advantages and disadvantages so let's see so first of all it is very scalable uh, then it's flexible and secure itself like the other two clouds from its parent clouds then it is very cost effective since uh, when we use a mixture of both private and public we get it as a low cost than the private clouds now uh, considering with the disadvantages of this that is the hybrid cloud it has got some kind of networking issues now networking issues like happens uh, when we use both these clouds so uh, both the private and public clouds are internally hosted into the organization so at times uh, there may be some uh, what called as confusions occurring like uh, when you want to migrate the private data then 
it may be happen that uh, you may move to the public cloud or the vice versa so that kind of some uh, complicated issues happen uh, when you use the hybrid cloud and security complaints since uh, you use some other third party services into it so cloud demands that you need to have a security complaints while you uh, install these services over the internet and uh, like you will not have a secure or you will feel some insecurity while using this hybrid cloud that's a, a very small extent so well that's about uh, this hybrid cloud so hope you enjoyed this video if you found this video helpful please hit the like button and if you haven't subscribed to my channel please subscribe thanks for watching